Hey, what's up everybody? This is Andrew Kim from houseinspired.com and today's video is going to be our reveal of our DIY bathroom remodel of our first floor guest bathroom. Now, if you take a look here at our before photo, look, nothing wrong, you know, functional guest bathroom, but you know, just very plain and we wanted to spruce it up, make it look brighter and happier without spending a fortune. So I think we spent all in all somewhere around $800 to $850 and let's check it out and see what we did with our reveal. So let's go right in. Now we'll start off by showing you the centerpiece or focal point of our remodel and that was switching out the white uh, pedestal sink with this more robust uh, single sink vanity with marble top and this is an Allen and Roth vanity uh, 37 inch Presnell Allen and Roth sink from Lowe's. Uh, I wasn't able to see a floor model before purchasing this um, so I just ordered it online kind of sight unseen and luckily it worked out. Now the you know natural marble top is you know quite impressive and beautiful and it's held up very nicely with just you know kind of a single coating of marble sealer that I applied when we first received it. It has a matching four inch marble backsplash which is a nice touch and accent. The overall build of you know, the vanity base is pretty solid. Um, you know, we added this towel holder on our own. That doesn't come with it. We drilled that in and added that piece. This was, you know, about $20 or so. Now, a couple things to highlight in terms of the drawers. One of the positives is that these drawers are soft clothes, which I like. I don't like these pulls. They're kind of cheap, you know, feeling and cheap looking. And I also don't like the fact that these, you know, drawers themselves are pretty flimsy. The rest of the sink is pretty sturdy and well built. This is very flimsy, lightweight plywood. I wish they hadn't skimped there. Now, the one thing I want to mention is we did have some issues with fitting this against the wall due to our plumbing. And you see this notch right here. This did not come like this. I actually had to cut out this piece of the drawer and create this notch on my own using a jigsaw because the P-trap or the pipes in the back uh, were jutting out, you know, where this couldn't fit. So I actually had to cut out this notch. So, you know, just FYI, anytime you're doing bathroom remodels, typically uh, the plumbing can sometimes be an issue. Uh, luckily, mm -hmm. you know, I was able to fix that uh, without having to return this vanity. And next on the wall here, we have a little accent shelf, a marble shelf from CB2, about 24 inches long with these gold brackets underneath. This is from CB2 and retails for about uh, $69.95 before any kind of sales or promo codes. And you know, just very basic but classic marble shelf that accents our vanity very nicely. And it's been a nice touch and you know kind of decorate as you wish with anything on top now next over here we have you know a simple touch and change but i think it actually uh is something that i really want to highlight because i like it a lot is the ashlyn wall mounted toilet paper holder from wayfair.com uh retails for about 31.99 before any kind of uh, coupons, sales, or promo codes. Now, what I love about this is not just the uh, aesthetics of how nice, you know, this chrome uh, kind of looks, but the fact that it is a pivoting, pivoting toilet paper holder. So rather than those annoying springs that you have to use, you basically pivot it up, take it out, and when you replace the new one, voila. Simple as that, no more. Uh, annoying springs that you have to kind of squeeze together, uh, have them pop loose. I don't know why all of our toilet paper holders aren't like this, and probably my goal is to replace all of them to a pivoting one. Um, to me, as weird as it sounds, it's a game changer. I've never seen one like this before, and I don't know why I haven't had one before. So to me, uh, that was one of my favorite changes, as small or subtle as that was. Again, Wayfair.com, about uh, $31.99 before sales or coupons. All right.
we have this ladder style wall shelf. And this is actually from homedepot.com or Home Depot. Goes for about $69 um, at full price before any kind of sales. And again, uh, you know, very simple, plain white, you know, kind of elegant wall ladder shelf and, you know, put whatever knickknacks, uh, adds a little storage, you know, add some decorative pieces here. And look, it doesn't break the bank. Um, it's a lot cheaper than some of the similar ones that you see like on uh, West Elm or other kind of more, you know, expensive types of websites. So again, uh, ladder style wall shelf from Home Depot that my wife chose, which I think has been a great and nice touch. Next we have wall sconces and the mirror that we replaced as well. Both of these items, the sconces and the mirrors are from Wayfair as well. Uh, very affordable prices. I'll try my best to see if I could find those as well. And look, I think with every kind of remodel, um, you want to have some personal touches, not to just kind of have a uh, you know, generic remodel with things just out of catalogs or websites. So uh, these simple basic white frames with photos. These are photos from our honeymoon in Bora Bora. So these are our actual photos that we put in these frames to just add that personal touch. And the final things that I'll kind of mention about our remodel was, as you can see on the walls here, uh, before this was all just kind of plain painted walls. And I decided to do uh, DIY board and batten patterns on the wall. So look, you can find uh, DIY YouTube videos everywhere on how to do uh, board and batten walls. And basically, you know, I bought the materials, used my miter saw in the basement to kind of chop up, um, you know, all the uh, MDF and the boards and kind of did a beefy baseboard as you can see here. The classic board and batten pattern with a top rail. Chopped them all up, nailed them up with my nail gun you know, caulked up and filled all of the uh, nail holes and painted it bright white and it turned out great. It just kind of adds that pop of white uh, to kind of contrast with the paint on the wall and add some texture, you know, to just really kind of add some, you know, texture and depth to the space. So I'm very happy with that. And the final thing is, you know, it's all about the details. And I even replaced our air vent covers that were just kind of plain, uh, you know, metallic grills with this kind of just more fancy type of uh, vanity grill plate. So even things like that, you know, it's just all in the details, all in the subtle touches. Spent about, you know, nine bucks on that uh, to replace. And that does about it for our DIY reveal. So this is Andrew Kim from houseinspired.com uh, showing you our DIY uh, bathroom remodel. Uh, let us know what you liked, what you didn't like, if you had any questions about how we made certain choices. I'm gonna try my best to you know, put links uh, to the items that I mentioned, if the items are still available, uh, and if I can remember where I got every single one, but I'll try my best to put links in our info. Um, you know, please like, you know, please share this video, please comment. Like I said, ask me questions. I'll try to throw this up on our blog as well. Thank you so much for the interest and support. Uh, stay tuned for more product reviews, uh, more uh, remodel and room makeover reveals. Uh, and look, let's have some fun as we continue to make some changes in our house. Thanks for tuning in. Andrew Kim, houseinspired.com.